What's up guys? It's your boy Crazy Kyle. We're over here at Cameron Johnson Race Cars. This is my first time getting the C Trust Fund. She's looking right. It's finally looking like a race car. We it got started the, on it about a week ago. About a week ago. We got the quick drive and everything set up in there. Because it's, we gotta get some uh, we got, measurements. We gotta get some mock-up time done. Mock-up time done for it so we can get the, uh, the other side of the double frame rod done. They said they need a bell housing, but they're like, no, nah, you don't need that. Need we, we just gave you how far back we want it. measurement. And there you go. Tom we're, right. we're not even chassis builders. No, we, we know that. We can pull measurements. I'm final assembly guy. That's so we I'm just doing. we just pulled the measurement off the Lexus. Yep. So and it's the same how's the thing. Lexus doing right now? Oh, Lexus is on point. She's we're ready. ready. She's about ready. Where are we going? Is we're going, going testing go, this week. We're going testing this week on and then Thursday. And we're going, going where? Going to tear Illuminati's ass up. We're going to try to, man. It's going to be a tough race. It's going to be a good race, but I'm We're both on 315s, though. We are. Everything's even. Heads up. Even race. It's gonna be good. Big two. Big country. Got the tune up in there. It'll be right. It'll be right. So guys, like Kyle was saying, we're gonna be in Orangeburg, South Carolina this weekend. South Carolina Motorplex. Friday and Saturday. Saturday we have a grudge race at 3 p.m. with Illuminati with the Lexus. But we're over here at Cameron Johnson's today because we're gonna show you all the process of the new car, the Trust Fund. Um, we are going to be putting this thing together. It's a 1969 Nova. There's not a whole lot to it right now that you'll be able to see, but we're gonna keep up with the videos and we're gonna keep up with the build process. But Kyle, let's go ahead and walk around real quick. Let's look at some of the welds, some of the bars. I know we're not chassis builders, but we kind of got an idea of what this thing's gonna be. You know what good and bad looks like. You know like. what good and bad looks like. We know what good and bad. It's like 95% good because we got the good man on in this car, so we're good. Yeah, my man's camera's over here. Not, camera's not doing it, so we're good. You're saying camera's not working? No, camera's not working. How many times have you seen camera walk across He's this probably shop? probably got five miles in this place today. He's killing it At right now. At least five. So let's go over here and check it out. So me and Kyle, shout out to Quick Drive. They got me a spare Quick Drive this year, boys. So. Kyle will be able to swap them in and out throughout the season. Well, hopefully when we get done with our testing, we like one a little better than the other. Yeah, and then we're gonna send it back. So this one here is a non-lockup. All last year, we ran a lockup quick drive with a lockup converter. So we have two non-lockup converters that just showed up and a non-lockup quick drive. We're gonna try to go out there, test, try to get a little bit faster. We gotta give Ryan Martin a run for his money this year because he kicked our ass. Is that why you're switching? Don't you get a little weight break if you go you to do. the non-lockup? So you get a weight break if you run a non-lockup. You get 100 pounds. Um, Ryan is 100 pounds lighter than I am due to the combo that he runs. So. We are going to test. We were not able to test last year um, because we were racing every weekend. And literally, we took the car off the jig table. And went right racing. Went straight to racing. So we are going to get the test this year and get the car ready. And right now, the Lexus prenup is running phenomenal. Uh, Y'all seen the last video. We, we rolled right over to Orlando. We, uh, we dropped the car right off the trailer. We went, made one shakedown, 3.30 hit, ran our grudge race. Scotty G paid the punk out. Yeah, he got scared. He said, we should have raised Scotty G first. first. He didn't see that race. So he paid the punk out. Kyle said, you know what, Justin, let's just load this up and let's go on home. And that's what we did. So we kind of had like a professional weekend. We were in and out, collected a little check. And hopefully we can do it again this weekend. We're running for some big money this it's weekend. Gonna be a tough race. And this is going to be a tough race. But if we can pull it off, it's going to be good. Win or lose, we're going to be down there to hang out with y'all and have fun. But let's go ahead and go through a little bit explain a little what, what we got going on like i said shout out to quick drive they are a great sponsor of ours helping us out liberty transmissions we got marty Merillat. he builds our rear ends in the car and we're actually going to drop a pick right here of the new rear end that got built for the lexus and we're going to build a similar rear end for trust fund but you can see his four link brackets right here how much adjustability there is there is so many holes there. This is where we're leaving them all year, just so y'all know. Right, drop it in your head. That's where they're gonna be all year. Kyle said that's where we're leaving them all year. But we got Scott and them. They're over here. They're knocking bars out. They're getting everything fitted, cut, coped in. Cameron's got the new chassis jig table and fixtures to be able to uh, make sure this thing is nice and sturdy. It's not going nowhere. They had to. Uh, the reason why we had to bring the quick drive and the Liberty over is because they gotta build this frame rail that comes from here down through there down front, kinda like that is over there. So with them building that frame rail, they wanna make sure we have enough room to be able to work 
on the quick drive and the Liberty, but also enough room as me in the driver's seat to be comfortable to be able to drive this thing going down the track. So they're thinking about both of us. They're thinking, they're thinking about, about both of us. They're thinking about both of us. They're thinking about both of us. So with Cameron uh, building the Lexus, uh, he made it to where that car is very easy to work on and it's very comfortable. That's one thing I told Cameron, that even though the cars look good, and yes, the Lexus looks rough right now, and we are gonna get it color matched, everything will look good before the first race of the season. But like I told Cameron, it's a race car at the end of the day. Um, it's This ain't a beauty pageant, and uh, looks do not win a race. So when we're at the racetrack, when Kyle's grinding to be able to get the car done, he's gotta be able to do it fast. So we try to come up with ways to be able to speed up our process of getting the stuff done pulling a motor out, changing a pro charger. I mean, how fast can you change a pro charger out now if you have an issue? If I had to go fast 10, 15 minutes so, so we got it going on. If we had to yank a motor out, I mean, we can yank a motor out in 20 minutes. Um, we can yank a gear out in 20 minutes. So just everything we do, we try to make it to where it's easily worked on. And that's one thing that we're gonna do with this car. Um, we're gonna do some updates on this car that we learned from the Lexus, me and dad, all of us as a gang, a crew, we learned a lot over the years. And we learned a lot with the Lexus on no prep. And this car is gonna get all the updates to it. We are changing the motor position. We're changing the motor height. We're not gonna speak about it. We're not gonna talk about that right now due to the fact that uh, we got a lot of competitors that watch our channel. They don't need to know everything. They, they just need to know they need to watch out because we come. They need to watch out. That's what it is. I like, I like Kyle. Kyle has been, uh, been doing phenomenal. But uh, we are gonna do an update on the build on this channel y'all are going to get to see the start to finish kind of like how y'all did the lexus and if y'all are new here and y'all weren't able to go see the lexus go back and watch all those videos and you'll get to see this again um, we're doing a full build from start to finish it's going to be awesome trust fund is a 1969 nova um, i'm happy to be able to get in something a little older school and uh, don't mean i'm getting rid of the lexus i'm never getting rid of the lexus the lexus is my brand that is my car and we're actually, me and Kyle were just talking today, we are going to do something with another Lexus. Yeah. So we are thinking about either doing... Don't be touching shit, bro. See, bro, these all these bars. Are... What's with you two, man? <laughs> you, Both of he's you. like, y'all get the fuck out of my shop. Bro. Jeez. Dude. He's like, quit touching shit. I'm going to keep my hands in my pocket yeah. now. You're lucky I had it good enough. It just clicks together. That's because he's the man. He's the man. Like this guy's good. I like him. He's over here just playing with stuff. <laughs> he's getting a tight fitment. That's what he's doing. So, anyways, like I was saying, uh, me and Kyle are either thinking about doing a LS swapped Lexus or a diesel. Diesel. I mean, if you want my expertise, I'm way better with gas engines than I am with the diesel. <laughs> So we're trying to figure out, but we're building the shop. The shop is getting finished and that's gonna be a part of the deal. We're gonna start doing builds with y'all, having fun. And uh, we, we appreciate each and every one of y'all that is uh, subscribed to the channel and keeps liking the video. So we are going to do uh, a lower end build, something that we can more interact with y'all. So we're trying to figure out, it's either gonna be an LS deal or a diesel deal, but we'll figure that out. And we're gonna do a small tire car as well. But you got anything, Kyle? I'm just ready for this thing to be done. I'm ready to see the finished project, but I know beauty takes time. So let's see. We know, we know Cameron's not going to do it. Yeah, look at it. Cameron, how many steps you got in today? Wow, that's how I stay like this. Yeah. Can you even do a push up, dude? I can walk on my hands. No, you can't. Stop it. He said I can walk on my hands. Stop he, can, it. he can walk on walk. Cameron, I will buy lunch if you can walk. I used I'll... to be able to walk on my hands. I'm fat now. No, 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 no. Listen, I'll do this to you. I'll do this to you. If you can walk from the chair, Walk from the chair to the crack. That's too far. Man. Stop it, dude. It's only like 10 foot. The chair to the crack, I'll buy lunch. I'll try it, but not Try it. And if you don't do it, no big deal. But if you get it, I'll buy lunch. Come on, do it. Buy lunch for everybody. No, I can't afford that. I could buy lunch for you. I can afford it. I'm not going to risk it. I can afford you. That's crazy. Can I sweep off the spot for you? Cameron, do it. Come on. Guys, we wanted to do it. He's scared. Dude, I'm old and fat now. So, so I used to be able to don't do say like you that. can do it if you can't do it. I don't. I, I don't probably do. I don't go around that. and say, "Hey, I can walk on my you, hands." You do. Like, you go around and say you're going to the gym. So <laughs> we already had this happen. Not happen. What's you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it maybe after the video. No, try it right now. It's a long way. This guy ain't about it. So anyways, like I was saying, we got the mid plate, not in, but you can see it's kind of cut out. The bell housing is 
Nine inches? Eight inches? Nine. Seven, seven and a half? Nine, 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 in, nine inches away from the mid plate. So that's why you see the Liberty and the quick drive is pushed back. And that's kind of the idea you're gonna get inside the car. So guys, we got parts rolling in. Shout out to RC Comp. They are our wheel sponsor. We got brand new 17 inch. Yes, they're a little dirty right now, but they're chrome rim. So all you gotta do is just take a little bit of a spit, a rag, wipe them up. They're phenomenal. But they're the same wheels that we run on the Lexus. But when we get that thing painted with them chrome wheels, Check that out, dude. That's gonna be that's gonna be phenomenal. We got our rear wheels over on the other side of the shop. Um, that we're gonna be trying a new wheel out this year, uh, a little bit wider. Some different things going on. We uh, got the parts come in for you know our front end, our hood, our doors, our carbon fiber up there. 1969 Nova Swan Gang. This is a Nova too. Same body style as mine. It's not the same year as mine, but I don't think anything changes. But as you can see, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Cameron and the guys are working on it right now. They are knocking the firewall out. They are knocking everything out on the inside. Shout out to TMS Titanium. They got us all the titanium for the car. And so I'm trying to plug these guys in because these are the guys that help us be able to get this car out on the racetrack. TMS hooked us up with all the titanium and uh, we'll get Cameron to probably touch a little base on this as in if I'm missing anything, but we're gonna have steering arms. We're gonna have uh, your uh, brake pedal, your gas pedal, your firewall's titanium, your steering shaft, everything here's titanium. You can see where Cameron has to build some deals where this thing slips in and it bolts in. Our whole entire driver floor will be titanium. Our parachute mount on the back is gonna be titanium. So shout out to them guys to be able to give us all the titanium to be able to run it. Another company that is hooking us up is Menser Motorsports. I can't do this without them. I ran their shocks for the first time on the Lexus and it was phenomenal. So I went ahead and said, you know what? For the new build, I'm doing the same exact thing. Mark, them guys over there at Mincer Motorsports, they hooked us up. They got us shocks in a very, very fast process. The shocks are already here. Cameron's got all the parts. He has paid up for all the parts some of the labor and uh he's knocking this deal out and i can't wait to actually get trust fund out on the track and show y'all what it does but right now we got the lexus it's running phenomenal the shop is getting built trust fund will be out soon we'll have two badass cars and uh, we'll be uh moving on forward to a small tire car because there is some uh, pretty cool content and something exciting dropping later on in the year hey quick question real quick um tms what all will be titanium going on the car Everything. I know, but they want to know what's Steering everything. Steering column, wishbone. Uh, okay, so I didn't miss the wishbone. Control arms, tunnel, firewall, driver's floor, uh, window frames, um, parachute, parachute mount, mount, wing struts. Okay. Um, anything on the front end? Fuel cell mount. Fuel cell mount, I thought of. Front end mount, front end tree. Oh, we run titanium on the front end tree too? Front end tree. Um, Transmission mount. Training mount, slider. The slider deal. I think that's about it. A bunch of tabs, brackets. Gas pedal, gas pedal, brake pedal, steering column, so steering shaft. You're gonna have a whole lot of titanium. Lot. Do you think this car would be lighter than the Lexus? Honestly. Uh, I don't know. We'll find probably, out. probably not, because it's longer. Yeah. It's a bigger car. I mean, the Lexus is wide, but this car is. What What is this car's stock wheelbase? I think it's 111. And what are you, what are you putting in it? Whatever, two inches more than that is. So 113. I think it's one I have to check. Okay. Hell yeah. So it'll be longer than Alexis by some. A lot, yeah. A couple inches. Right, now we got that out of the way, you want to tell them where we're going now? Where are we going? We're going to Hooters. Shut the camera off. I'm hungry. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. We got to go make sure Kyle gets his gets his food. It's chicken wing. It's for you, too. Kyle, you're you're, no, no, bro. I hate Hooters. Yeah. You're the only guy I know that goes to Hooters for the wings. Because they're fucking good. They're good. Camera, do you like the wings of Hooters? I probably haven't had Hooters wings in like five years. But this good. dude, go, this dude wings, goes to Hooters. I like bread. Hey, bread when the girl wings, walks by, when the girl walks by, college is like, hey, can you go give me some wings? Exactly. That's what. The, that's their job. I'm not trying to downgrade nobody, but that's what. That's their job. They're a waitress. Can I get some wings? 
dude kills me, My job me, bro. is to work on a car. You tell me to work on it, I'm gonna do it. Guy kills me. Um, so anyways, to answer y'all's question, I've had seen a bunch of this happen in the previous videos or whatever, what combination we're going with. We are going with the Proline engine in this car. No, I cannot afford to buy a new engine. So we are gonna be taking the combination and swapping them back and forth between Trust Fund and Prenup. Um, I'm gonna try to accumulate some money over the year. That's the game plan. All y'all buying merch, all y'all contributing to liking the videos, dropping comments. That money goes towards the race operation. So prices have went up. I've been straight up with y'all. I'm honest with y'all all the time. To buy a new motor from Proline's about 95 grand right now. Prices, when I bought the motor uh, last time for the Lexus, it was 89,000, but prices have went up. So 95 grand to do a new motor. So I've been trying to buy stuff in pieces. Y'all have seen that we have a spare set of heads. Frankenstein, I'm gonna get with them to be able to get an intake. Basically, I'll have a top end set up and I'll just have to get a short block deal. But everything will end up coming together. Just for right now, we're gonna have to swap the motor back and forth uh, because just that's just what I can afford to be able to race. Um, so getting everything done here. I wouldn't be able to do this without Cameron. Cameron and the guys over here, they are helping us out tremendously to be able to get this car done, to get the car on the channel and on the track. And hopefully I can go out there and uh, perform well like I did with the Lexus. The Lexus kind of put me on the map. It put Cameron and them on the map. And uh, there's a lot of people, even MPK guys that want Cameron to build them a car now, which they should because he builds a badass car. And uh, we were able to go out there and perform with it and it did well. So that's the reason why I'm having to build me another one. I'm having to do some updates, figure out what we got going on, and we're going to keep moving along this process. But we're not going to make this too long of a video. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification on. You can also head over to our website, www.justinswanstrom69.com. We got a new deal that just launched. It's a Swan Gang Shop Art, SG Shop Art. If you go over to the website, it's the first thing up. You can purchase a piece of the real estate inside the new shop. We are going to designate a wall strictly for y'all you will get your name on the wall it'll stay there forever you can also get your merch we got new merch dropping out sweatshirts hoodies beanies t-shirts long sleeves a lot of stuff's coming and we're getting ready for season five npk with the lexus and trust fund so i'll show y'all one last time just a little bit of walk around show you everything's going on in the next clip we'll have a lot more stuff done scott's been over here busting his ass getting his car and everything ready he says he's not stopping on it he's going to keep on moving and getting stuff going but it's coming together nicely i'm loving it i can't wait to get it out on the track start busting ass and having fun with it shout out to all my sponsors shout out to all my supporters and shout out to y'all swan gang i will see y'all at the next video Thank you.